The city of El Paso will soon be dispersing $119 million in coronavirus relief funds. Thanks for joining us. I'm Daniel Marin. And I'm Natasha Paloma. The funding could benefit you. KTSM 9 News reporter Tatiana Favela explains. This is an update to Monday's special meeting in which the item was postponed. Now that the item has been approved, here's what the city says is next. We are looking at how do we get these funds out in the most comprehensive uh, way possible to those folks that need it the most. City Council approving the use of nearly $119 million of federal money from the CARES Act Fund to help relieve the financial hit brought on locally by the coronavirus pandemic. This item does not allocate dollars to any one individual group or when any one um, individual concern of the community. The city says that money will be split into three different categories. Public health and safety to provide more COVID-19 testing, community response, which covers things like housing and food costs, and economic resources for businesses in need of financial obligations to stay afloat. Nicole Farini, the city's director of community and human development program, explaining how El Pasoans would be able to receive that help. The city of El Paso, I want to be clear, does not administer these programs directly. We do not, folks would not come to the city of El Paso for rental assistance. Folks would not come to the city of El Paso for utility assistance. We are a pass-through for government funds, federal funds, in the same way that we always are. City Council approved the item with a 7-1 to one vote. Rep. Claudia Rodriguez voting against. Now that the city has the green light to move forward, Farini says they'll work on making sure the plan for those funds is meeting El Paso's needs. We don't just distribute the funds and everybody's happy and goes away. We need to make sure that those funding distribution moved the needle in the space where we wanted it to move the needle. And if it doesn't, we need to be able to course correct. And that's something that we are positioned to do, we're well equipped to do, we do every day, and I'm very, very proud to be doing it right now under this crisis. And by the way, El Paso City Manager Tommy Gonzalez did say that these coronavirus relief funds would need to be spent by the end of this year so that the money stays in El Paso and does not need to be returned back to the federal government. That the NFA Villa, KTSM 9 News.